What's going on people, it's me the Real Mossy with another Battlefield 3 patch info video for you. As you know the highly anticipated and massive patch 1.04 has arrived on the PS3, PC and as of April 3rd also on the Xbox 360. And along with the massive patch comes massive confusion as to exactly what has changed. I'm going to try and address some of this confusion. This time I'm going to look at the post patch damage RPGs and SMAWs due to tanks. Last week I posted a video showing that patch 1.04 has increased the damage the tank's main cannon does to enemy tanks. The link to that video is on screen right now. In that video I also said that they haven't made the tank's armor weaker, they've just increased the strength of the main cannon so it takes one less shot to disable an enemy tank from the front and sides. Now some of you didn't agree with this or were just flat out confused. I got several comments saying that I'm wrong and that the patch has not increased the strength of the tank's main cannon, but rather it has just made the tank's armor weaker. So I'm going to try to clear up this confusion with this video. Let's start with some pre-patch footage. Now you guys know that the amount of damage an RPG or SMAW does to a tank depends on which part of the tank the rocket hits. As you can see here, before the patch, a direct RPG or SMAW shot to the front of a tank does 22% damage. A shot to the side does 35% damage. And a shot to the back does 61% damage and disables the tank in one hit. Let's move on to some post-patch footage. Now if patch 1.04 has reduced the tank's armor or increased the strength of the RPG and SMAW against tanks, then in this post patch footage, the tank should take noticeably more damage from each shot than it did pre patch. So let's take a look at the post patch footage. Front impact 22% damage. Side impact 38% damage. and rear impact 61% damage. So there is no significant difference between pre and post patch damage distribution. But what you will notice is the fact that post patch, once the tank's disabled, it loses health at a much faster rate than it did before the patch. So to wrap things up, patch 1.04 has not reduced the tank's armor, nor has it increased the damage RPGs and SMAWs due to tanks. What it has done is increase the rate at which the tank leaks health once it becomes disabled. Well that's it guys, I hope this video has cleared up some of your post patch confusion. Although the patch hasn't increased the damage RPGs due to tanks, it has increased the amount of damage some other weapons and vehicles will do to tanks. The Javelin is one of those weapons. Check out the video on the screen for more information on how the Javelin has changed post patch. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button. Leave a comment and subscribe if you want more. Thanks again, I'm the Real Mossy. Tell your friends about me.